Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at the difference between alter and modify. So all I'm doing right now is I'm just sketching a few different shapes here. That looks good. All right, let's take a look at the alter command first. Now, you can find alter in two places within 1CNC XR5. Up at the top of the screen within your transform tool set, you'll find alter over here on the right. And over here on the left within your main toolbar, if you head under transform, you'll find alter as well. Now, what alter does is it allows you to move existing geometry. And in the case of circles, you also have the ability to change the radius of a circle. So let's take a look at moving geometry first. I'm going to go into the alter command. As soon as I do that, let's say we want to alter the endpoint of this line right here. So to do that, I'm going to left hand mouse click, and as soon as I left hand mouse click on that endpoint, I have the ability to move the line. So I could move it up here, for example, and snap it on the end of that line there. If I'd like, I could take the line and I could snap it, of course, to an arc center. I might want to take the line and make it tangent. Another option is you can snap the datum. You can also type in coordinate input. So once you have the very end of the line, you could come over here and, for example, type in x1 let's say Y1 and then click OK and then 1 C and C will move it. So it's very easy to move the endpoints of lines just by left clicking on the endpoint. You can then grid snap, entity snap, datum snap or type in coordinate input. Now same holds true for moving a circle. Just take your cursor to the center of the circle, wait till you see that little diamond symbol, then left hand mouse click and then now you have the ability to to move that geometry anywhere that you'd like. And again you can datum snap you can snap ex the circumference on existing arcs if you want to. You could snap the end point of a line, the midpoint, and so on. And of course, you can use coordinate input as well. So, if, for example, I could type in minus 3 for x, and how about minus 3 for y? I'll click OK, and there you go. You can see the circle's been moved. Now, also within the alter command, you have the ability to change the radius of a circle. Now, to do that, Instead of snapping the center of the circle, what you want to do is snap the circumference. So here I'm going to left click on the circumference and when I do that, I can now dynamically drag out a new radius. We can move the circle to a different location. If you want to type in an exact amount for the radius, just left click, wait, wait till you're in the mode of, of moving the radius. Once you're there, just come over here and underneath radius, type in whatever you'd like. I'll type in 0.75. Don't forget to click OK and then that will change the radius for you. Okay, so that's the alter the command. The alter command has the ability to move geometry, points, lines, and arcs, and it also has the ability to change the radius on existing circles. Now, what about the modify command? Well, the modify command allows you to do things like change the color of your geometry or for example change the layer or line style of your geometry. Let me demonstrate. Now to use the modify command you need to select your geometry first. So to do that I'm going to head up here and use this option called single entity selection or you can hit the letter S like Sierra on the keyboard. Once you're in select mode you select the geometry that you'd like to alter. Now once that ge or excuse me modify now once that geometry is selected your modify button is located down here at the bottom of the screen so we're going to left hand mouse click that and here's your modify dialog box so if i want to change the color just come over here grab a different color and then click okay and as soon as we do that you can see now that the color has been changed to a green now let's do this again let's select those two lines and let's say we want to change the color and the line style so we'll go go back down to modify. Let's put the color back to how about a dark purple. I'm going to change the line style to something thicker and let's use how about dashed as well. That looks good and I'll use my deselect so you can see we've we've done that. Alright, I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to select the geometry. We're going to go back into our modify command. I'm going to put it back to the standard line thickness, the standard style and I'm going to put this back to a like a dark blue color but at the same time I'm also going to put it on a different layer let's call this layer how about lines that looks good so as soon as I type in the name of a layer up here one CNC is going to assign that geometry to that layer so I'll click OK that looks good I'm going to deselect everything there so now if I come over here to the lower right hand corner of the screen and we turn our layer browser open you can see there's a brand new layer here called lines and I can turn that layer on and off just by left clicking there okay 
So that's the difference between alter and modify. Alter allows you to move existing geometry or change the radius of existing arcs. Modify allows you to do things like change the color, the line thickness, the line style, and what layer the geometry is on. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.